Google is at it again. They have changed the way that they rank websites and search in an effort to make internet searching easier for the user. But that's gonna have some implications for your library. Don't panic, we're gonna go through it in this episode of the Library Marketing Show. Hi everyone, my name is Angela Hirsch. I'm the person behind superlibrarymarketing.com. Head on over there, click on the Library Marketing Show tab. You can ask a question that I will answer in a future episode of the show, or you can nominate your library or another library doing great work in marketing for kudos. I will give away the kudos a little later in the show, so stick around for that. Let's dive right into today's topic, the changes in Google search. This kind of happened all the way through the month of March. Google was fixing and adjusting and tweaking their search algorithm, and they were doing this for a couple of reasons. They said they wanted to make the user experience on Google better. Totally understand that. They wanted to stop serving up sites that have outdated information or spammy information. Now, I don't think there are any libraries out there that are intentionally offering spammy information on their website. So I think we're good on that point. However, it's the outdated information part that makes me a little nervous. And I would like to suggest that my library friends take a look at their library websites and make sure all of the links that you have there are updated. All of the pages that are available for someone to use are updated. A lot of times we create a landing page for something Maybe it's our summer reading program and we don't archive it because nobody's there and we have so much stuff to do on our plates. What's, what is it going to hurt? It's actually going to hurt now. Google is going to look, see outdated information, and they're going to downrank your library website based on that. However, I think this is also a really good opportunity for those of you who are working with your library's website to sit down with all of your stakeholders and determine what gets top billing on your website? Because another thing that Google is looking at is how user-friendly your website is. I'm gonna pick on my own library for a minute, the Cincinnati and Hamilton County Public Library. If I want to get to a database like Novelist on my own library's website, I have to go through some pretty big hoops. There are at least three clicks that I have to do before I can even get into the Novelist database. I have to know how to search it on the website because it's not on the homepage and it's not listed in the databases. I have to, then I get a couple of options because they have a couple of the different Novelist databases. I have to know which one to click on. And then I have to put my uh, user card and my pin in. That jumping through hoops is now going to impact where your library comes up in search. How do you know where your library ranks on Google? You can do some very simple searches in Google to find out. Just type in how to find a book to read near me. If your library isn't in the top three suggestions from Google, you may need to do some work and add keywords like find a book to read at your library on your library's website. Another great search, if you have um, a 3D printer, do a, do a search how to find a 3D printer near me. The other thing to keep in mind is many of you are watching your Google Analytics every month. If you see some fluctuations over the next couple of months, this algorithm change may be at fault, good or bad, and that could prompt those conversations at your library. I'm curious, did you hear about these Google algorithm changes before this episode and has your library had any conversations about ranking in search? It's really important. I would love to know what your library thinks. Let me know down in the comments. It's time to give away kudos for today. And our kudos is going to Ipswich Libraries. They had a great article in a local news media outlet, which I will link down below if you're looking at this on LinkedIn in the comments or in the show description if you're watching on YouTube. But basically, it looks like their annual report came out the thing that really caught my eye about this particular story was the title, Ipswich Libraries Surge in Popularity. What great positive press coverage. That's it for today's episode, but my channel is full of lots more tips for library marketing. If you're interested in learning more, click on this next video. I'll see you there.